Hey guys, it's Chris and we have something else, Amiga. Whip out your credit cards. Dang it, this guy always makes me spend money. We have three different devices we're going to be testing out. My blue original Zulu SCSI, but two new Zulu SCSIs in the RP2040 category that we're going to be reviewing. So whip out your credit cards. It's time for another prop review. Today on the show, I have something really cool and really new. I was contacted by Mr. Alex from Rabbit Hole Computing to discuss a new device that they have. And I have it. I have two of them. It is the Zulu SCSI RP2040 and the RP2040 Mini uh, Homebrew Kit. As you've seen in the past, I am a huge fan of the Zulu SCSI, and many of you are too. This is their revised unit. This is the RP2040 board. What is so different about this? This has a bootloader. It has a little Raspberry Pi chip on there. It has a bootloader in there. And it's going to work similar to your original Zulu SCSI, supporting images with ID numbers for your Amiga, Mac, PC. And this one has, I have to solder in the little power connector. And you also have room for an external DB25 female if you wanted to put one of those on there too. You can order these completely built or as a kit to build yourself. Not SMD soldering, but ports and jumpers. This is the Homebrew kit, Zulu SCSI Compact Homebrew RP2040 micro SD card, which is great. An 8 gigabyte SanDisk, two capacitors, three jumpers, a Berg power connector, and a 50 pin ribbon cable, which we're gonna be assembling right now. Four power connectors, That takes care of this unit. Now the new unit here takes two capacitors. They're through hole and provided. Big and small, self-explanatory. Clearly silk screen marked with a big white. And after I snip, I like to just touch the pad one more time, clean it up. Okay. So there's our 50, there's our power, our 50, we're all in. Now we have three jumpers to do. So to wrap that back up, the jumpers you're going to want to solder in are right here, buzzer enable, initiator, and LED. One, two, three. They're located one, two, three. That's it. So that's your homebrew kit. You solder in yourself. You can also buy these completely configured. The Zulu SCSI RP2040 is a new and improved Zulu SCSI device. Seven SCSI devices simultaneously, including CD-ROMs, Magneto Optical, SideQuest Jazz, floppy drives on SCSI. It'll do SCSI 1 and SCSI 2, 10 megs per second, fast SCSI, uh, 9.1 meg per second read, 6 meg write on Zulu SCSI RP2040 base boards. Firmware upgrade, place a file on the SD card now. No more flashing and points and crazy programs. External disk activity, you can configure it via a text file, the Zulu SCSI INI, just like before. Um, external pin for attaching a, attaching a LED. Be powered by your SCSI termination power. Like my 4000 desktop, we don't run a Berg. We power it off the SCSI termination power, which is great because it's only 3.3 volts. It has an optional header for a DB25, uh, what is that, female? So you get two SCSI ways to connect. It is the identical dimensions of the original SCSI to SD, 5 and 6. So it is compatible with all the current mounting platforms. Your 3D prints, you can just boop, beep, boop, beep, and you're good. It uses a full-size SD card. Its SCSI command structure are exactly from SCSI to SD, so it has a SCSI uh, physical layer code. And the image file access with two solutions. This compact one is going to be great. This is a full-sized hard drive replacement with the external. Now, the compact doesn't give you the external port, okay? But you do get a buzzer. You get the buzzer capability on these and the jumpers you can do. You can flip her over to see your programming options, enable speaker, external bootloader, LEDs. Same thing on the compact. It tells you exactly who is what. Uh, the website, ZuluScuzzy.com. All clearly labeled. You can see that on the silk screen of the board. So if there was ever a time you wanted to get into the Zulu game and you're an old former SCSI to SD fan or even a Zulu or Blue, make the move to the RP2040. You will be pleasantly surprised at the amount of performance and easeability you get for your monies. Let me get the 4000 Tower 
I'll take it apart again. Luckily, I only have to take off the faceplate, and we'll swap this card out, and we'll see how she does. We're going to boot this up. Here's my original Zulu. Rabbit Hole Computing, Lexar Media. RP2040, it's a total circuit redesign. Total different redesign. Still exactly pin compatible is what I'll call it. With the original Zulu. Remove this one. I'm going to plug in the original. Sysinfo 4.4 uh, drives uh, DH0 speed. This is the original Zulu. 354. Termination power is on, initiator is off, and debug log is off. I'm just going to write the drives DH0 speed. Holy Christmas trees. Stock controller. 6.7. Woohoo! I have doubled my my hard drive speed just by upgrading to the RP2040. It's super inexpensive. Turning this off for a third time. This is the compact edition with the micro SD. There's a green power LED on it and the red SCSI will come on in a second. Alright, so here we go with the mini. I'm not going to bore you with the boots. I'm just going to get to the nitty gritty. We're using Sysinfo 4.4. Same exact version with every one. Uh, I put in a zip cartridge to speed up the boot process. DH0 speed. Even faster. Wow. DH1. This way 30 buffers. 7084. Hit it again just in case it's cached. 7149, okay, so H2. Incredible. Just for comparison, my zip disk on IDE, 30 buffers isn't even a megabyte. So, that is an incredible speed boost for me. Now we have three choices from Rabbit Hole to make our Amiga lives better, even Atari or Apple. You have the blue, Zulu SCSI. Full blown one, compact homebrew edition. You saw my build. Micro SD card on this one. Full size SD card on this one. You can get these in kits or you can get them pre built for you. How do you get them? The RP2040 homebrew kit that I have, $42. A pre built one, $49. The Zulu SCSI, 1.1, in a 2.5 inch form factor for laptops, power books, small devices. RP2040, the one that I just did, 59. If you need a 2.5 inch, also 59. The original Zulu SCSI that I started out with, only 61 US monies. They even have an external jobber, RP2040 DP25, $65 using a micro SD card. Super simple for your Amiga use if you have a SCSI bus internal or external, like most of us do. No moving parts, no fuss, no muss, no more messing with SCSI to SD programmer settings to create hard disk image files that if you swapped the card it didn't work. Hot swappable, just have an HDA file with the appropriate number for ID, HD0, HD1, HD2, etc. The new RP2040 will even do CD-ROM images, ISOs. Cool beans, huh? You can even buy other Amiga parts like replacement Kel connectors or these new Amiga 3000 zip to sim adapters. Pretty neat. 3660 bare bones, even Amiga 4000 circuit boards. Full complement of flash floppy devices and any other retro computing bits you can find. Where do I get this from? If you go to zuluscuzzy.com, you can go to rabbit hole computing in the United States, which is what I just shown. Sampler Zone in Tennessee, Deckchromancer.ca in Canada, Amiga Kit in the United Kingdom, Studio Services in Germany or the EU, and in Australia, recap a Mac for your needs. Now, if you go to Rabbit Hole Computing in California, you will see my special pricing included. $55 for a Zulu, but the best part is $42 if you want to solder it yourself, $49 if you don't feel like it, and if you want to get this new RP2040, it is only $59.
I paid well over $100 plus for my Zulus when they first started coming out. So this is an incredible, incredible bargain. And you can clearly see the new version of the RP2040 here. And go to the website, you can read up on all the features, a lot of which I explained 9.1 megs, 6 meg right on the Zulu SCSI 2040, which is what about I was getting when shown. And that was over double what I was getting on the original blue Zulu. Still a great card, retro computing. It's fine for me. I'm used to one meg per second on ancient devices. Now I've just doubled my speed from what I thought was even faster. Full origins of the firmware, the whole design process, everything is available on ZuluScuzzy.com. I will link it down here below. So as you can see, supplies are not limited. Don't feel like you have to jump on this right away. Stocks are plenty and they have plenty available, but the special pricing will not last forever. So you might want to hop on that one. It's a great device. I've used Zulu and SCSI SDs in all of my Amigas for years. If you can jump on the bandwagon to get this new RP2040, it actually works very, very good. I just moved my card from my old to my new, and now I can use that in a Windows machine or one of my old Macs. I'll keep the fastest ones for my Amiga because I love them the most and they're the best computer in the world. Thank you guys for coming along on this journey. Thank you to Rabbit Hole Computing for making these devices for our retro computers. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something. How do you know from funny, you bastard?